Hi, I'm Natalie Bouchard, and you're listening to Inside NC Labor, a podcast designed to inform and educate North Carolina citizens on the role that the Department of Labor plays in state government. Hi everyone, welcome to Inside NC Labor. Uh, Today we're talking about a very exciting topic. As you know, it's fair season in North Carolina, and we're here today talking about the NC State Fair. Now the NC State Fair is the largest assemblage of amusement rides for an 11-day fair in North America. And our role at the Department of Labor is our inspectors inspect the rides so that they're safe for the public to use. So today we have a really exciting guest. This is Heather Overton. Heather? Hi, uh, yes, I'm Heather Overton. I'm Assistant Director of Public Affairs for the North Carolina Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services. Our department is responsible for putting on the fair, and it's a big job, and and a lot of us spend pretty much year-round working on different aspects of it. Great. Tell us the dates of this year's fair. This year's fair runs from October 17th through October 27th. It's an 11-day fair. Uh, We open on on a Thursday and run for two weekends and so there's plenty of time for anyone in North in, in North Carolina to make a visit to the State Fair. Okay, I know each year you all have a theme. What is this year's theme? Well, uh, the last couple of years we've actually stuck with the same theme. Commissioner Troxler liked it so much that we keep it as nothing could be finer. We believe that that's the truth when it comes to the fair. We make a big effort to promote the best of North Carolina, whether it be through our blue ribbon competitions, through our uh, homegrown music uh, fest, which includes all North Carolina artists, to some of the entertainers we bring in. That's exciting. That is exciting. So you guys are responsible for a lot when it comes to the fair, the coordination of everything. So one of the things that I know that I look forward to most in the fair is the fried food. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes. We have determined through a lot of surveys that we've done that one of the main reasons or an important reason people come to the fair is to eat. Right. And, you know, (laughs) and, and even I will admit you know, I've gone to, I've been to the fair many, many years throughout my entire life, and now even working for the fair, I keep a list and to make sure that I don't miss anything while I'm there. Oh my and, gosh. You know, there's <laughs> traditional, like I, I'm going to get the roasted corn. Mm-hmm. I'm definitely going to get uh, ice cream from Howling Cow, which is the NC oh State my University. Gosh, yes. So good. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, but I also try to hit up some of the new foods, and especially some of the new fried foods. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, we've had um, one year I had really good uh, fried red velvet Oreos. And, you know, regular fried Oreos are good too. Right. I've also tried a little bit on the weird side. I did try the deep fried peanut butter pickle. How was Ooh. that? You know, it wasn't as bad as what you, uh, as it would sound. <laughs> 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 we appreciate all of our vendors that come out there uh, every year they really try hard to come up with something new and exciting mm-hmm. and we, d- we usually release a list of what's going to be new at the, f- at the fair food wise uh, about a week before the fair starts we mm-hmm. put it on uh, Facebook we put it on Instagram it generates a lot of buzz mm-hmm. it's probably of all the things that we put on our social media it's one of the things that shared the most and of course, it's one of the things that people have multiple opinions about, oh my and goodness, and yes. it it builds buzz. That and of course, totally. probably followed by uh, when we talk about what's going to be the new rides at the fair. Right? Can you say anything about that? Well, this year we do have something very exciting coming. It's actually the largest traveling Ferris wheel in the United States. It's the uh, State Fair Sky Gazer. It's 155 feet tall, which uh, is 62.5 feet taller than Dorton Arena. Oh my goodness. Uh, I've heard that from a pretty day, uh, you can see 15 miles the, wow. from sight lines. It has 524,000 LED lights and six miles of electrical wiring. Um, what? That's amazing. It can hold uh, 216 people at one time and 36 Uh, closed six-person gondolas and I'm sure that your inspectors with the Department of Labor will get to know this ride very well too. (laughs) And I'm sure our Commissioner of Labor is going to want to ride that one. Oh yeah. I think. I think she'll do that. (laughs) Yes I think that we'll have I'm actually looking forward to riding it and I mean I do get on the rides at the fair. I do like it. As I'm older I spend more time watching my children ride the Mm -hmm. rides. Uh, which is why I'm glad that you guys are out there making sure that they're safe and, and in 100% working order. Absolutely. 
for the listeners who aren't aware of how the process works, the rides have to meet the manufacturer's specifications 100%. It's while we tie in with the Department of Agriculture, our inspection process is completely independent of the Department of Agriculture. They pretty much stay out of our way and they let us handle any issues that surface with any of the rides. And uh, we have the most stringent inspection program in the country. And I think it gives a lot of parents and grandparents a lot of uh, just satisfaction knowing that you can put your child on a ride in North Carolina and they're gonna be safe. Mm -hmm. People who come to the, the state fair do like to ride. You know, and I've noticed it. I've been to some other fairs around the country, and I will have to say that our Midway is extremely active. We have a bunch of riders. We also have around 100 rides, and it's a it's a big job. It takes we- weeks to get prepared for the fair. Oh my and goodness. I know that both our department and the parts that we're, we're preparing for and your department and the parts you're preparing for that probably, like me, the fair is the busiest time of year. Absolutely. Right. And you said you work on it all year round. So <laughs> we do when it comes to coming up with, you know, themes and advertising mm-hmm. and what we're going to promote. Uh, and then also after the fair's over, you know, to sit around and talk about the, that year's fair, what worked, you know, what we mm-hmm. want, might want to change for the next year. Mm-hmm. But it is it's a year round job. Uh, right. You know, we do other things in the department um, with and we are busy with those. But when it comes to fall and with the Department of Agriculture, it's usually all about the state fair or for some departments even the what we just finished is the North Carolina Mountain State Fair, right? Which is smaller. They only have they have about well only they have four, around forty rides, which mm-hmm. still is a lot of rides. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know it's a good fair, and I know that the Department of Labor is very involved in that too. Oh yes, that's one mm-hmm. of our favorites also. Mm-hmm. And the chair left there. I just I love that view. That chairlift is beautiful. If only we can bring the mountains to Raleigh. I know, <laughs> I know. Which the chairlift in uh, at the North Carolina State Fair? Yep. That's the another, State Fair flyer. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's an exciting attraction. It is our first permanent ride, and what's nice about it is the fairgrounds is a year-round facility, uh, which means that with in addition to the fair, we're busy pretty much every weekend with other events, mm-hmm. uh, where we rent our, our grounds out and uh, let people rent the buildings and, and hold their events. And there's a couple of events throughout the year, most notably the Got to Be and See Festival that we host in the spring. Uh, where we run the chairlift and you know it's nice to it's sort of an addition to some of the other events absolutely we love riding that too oh we do (laughs) we really do now we have a booth out there at the north carolina state fair in the scott building do most agencies state agencies have a presence out there Yes, there are a lot of state agencies that do have a booth while they're at the fairgrounds. Uh, Cultural Resources is really involved, and they have a booth. Uh, The North Carolina Wildlife Resource Commission is one of the more popular exhibits at the fair. Uh, Every year, they release a button, and there's some people that every year they go to the fair, that is one of their stops, is to pick up whatever animal, it's a a native North Carolina animal, is is featured on the button. Oh, cool. Um, We'll have to go get one this year. My children like it uh, because they do have they they have a lot of animals uh, well stuffed animals in there and then they also have um, the air pellet guns Uh in the back Okay, now you need to bring your children by the Department of Labor's booth so they can That's spin right. the wheel. That's right. So with at Commissioner the, Barry, right? <laughs> <laughs> so at our booth, we have a very exciting trivia wheel, and we have trivia for younger people and older people as well, um, just about North Carolina in general and about the Department of Labor, and it's really interesting. You guys also measure kids in your booth, don't you? Yes. Oh, yeah. We we have like on and off throughout the years. We've um, that ties in with our measure up to safety mm-hmm. theme that we've pushed throughout the years. Mm-hmm. Um, there's also signs posted throughout the fair uh, regarding ride safety, and we always encourage parents and kids to pay attention to the um, to the measure up to safety, the height requirement. Th- thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then another popular thing we have at our booth, um, we have these cards that outline all the rider safety tips and attached to it is a little a hair tie for people with long hair to tie their hair back because that's another rider safety tip is tie back 
for safety. Exactly. <laughs> Perfect. Following the safety requirements is so important, especially when it comes to height. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I know that, you know, and it's disappointing sometimes if your child is too young to get on a ride, but they'll be there one day. Mm-hmm. Um, and we do offer different areas of the fairgrounds that's more, of the, of the fairgrounds that's more uh, suited for different ages. Right. We have Kitty Land, which mm-hmm. uh, the rides there are suited for young children. Mm-hmm. We have more of an mi- uh, intermediate area that's sort of a mix of big rides and little rides. Mm-hmm. And then we always have the spectacular rides mm-hmm. that that really, most of those probably aren't suited for small children. Mm-hmm. It's probably more for teenagers and adults mm-hmm. that, that are ride enthusiasts. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And we inspect every one of them. So you can be sure that that's your right. children and you'll be safe. And if they're not open, that means they were not certified. That's very rare when that happens. Right. The Powers Great American Midways, uh, the operator, I'm sure they're the operator again this year. They just have done a great job with bringing in the rides. And it's always, every year, it just seems like it's gets better and better and safer and safer. And they, of course, are uh, a North Carolina company. Uh, they're headquartered in Burgall. I didn't know that. That's That's a great fact. Yeah. So canned food day is really popular at the fair every year. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, Yes, we have collected uh, close to 5 million pounds over the years for the Food Bank of Central and Eastern North Carolina. This Sugar Relief Day is on Thursday, October 24th. And it is a great day. You can come to the fair, bring five cans of Food Line brand food, and, and gain free admission. That's a really crowded day. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great program too. I mean, it, it is a busy is. day, uh, but it is. It's a. It's great to help. It's, it's, it's a great cause. It's a great cause, and it's a. It's usually a, a great day to come to the fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, any any other like entertainment. Anything special you want to add? Well, we have some uh, great North Carolina acts coming to the fair this year. Um, last year, one of the ones that I'm excited about is that you know last year we had to delay our opening by a day, which has never happened before That's in right. the his, in the history of the fair. That's right. uh, Tropical That's storm hurricane. Michael caused us to uh, have to delay opening until Friday, which unfortunately meant that American Aquarium, who was the act we had scheduled that night, couldn't perform. So we are bringing them back this year and they do perform on uh, Thursday, October 24th. Cool. And some of the other bands, uh, we have Brad- Brantford Marcellus. Uh, we have the Charlie Daniels Band coming. Wow. So we do have some big name acts. We have over our three stages, we have more than 100 North Carolina bands that will be playing at the fair. That's I think awesome. that's awesome that you, you keep them as like local local acts. That's really great. Right. right. All showcases. Of them, yes. All of them have a North Carolina connection. That's great. Which, you know, which I'm, I'm proud about because we do have some very talented people in North Carolina and the fair is a great place to showcase them. Right. Tell us how people can follow you on social media. Well, the, the State Fair, uh, we have a very active Facebook page at NC State Fair. Uh, we're, we're active on Twitter. We have Instagram. And, of course, our website, which is ncstatefair.org, has pretty much all information you could possibly want on the fair, and including that you can buy your tickets now. Uh, you can go ahead and, and get your tickets. You can get tickets for the new uh, Sky Gazer, which is the big Ferris wheel. You can get tickets for the flyer. You can get tickets to gain entry to the fair. And that means when you get to the fair, you just walk right through the gate. There's no standing in line, uh, and there's no waiting, and you save a little bit of money. Awesome. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. We're so glad to talk about the fair. I know it's one of the more popular things on our social media. Absolutely. Definitely. Uh, like being here and I'm glad that uh, that we're partners when it comes to putting this together. Thanks Heather. We'll see you at the fair. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks so much for tuning in y'all. Remember your safety is our priority.